Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. Welcome everyone. So I am Ritesh currently setting at third highest position in the Power BI community. Just a memorable member. And we will continue our awesome series on PEL 300 guidance and sample question paper with proper explanation. The topic that we are going to cover today is visualize data in Power BI. In this topic, you have the module work with Power BI visual, create a data driven story with Power BI reports and create dashboard in Power BI. We are going to follow this website examtopics.com but then we will definitely go to the power bi service or power bi desktop whenever there is a confusion because there are a few confusion over there that you will see today as well okay so let's start with the question number one you use an r visual to produce a map of 50,000 customers you include the value of customer id latitude uh, longitude in the fields sent to the visual each customer id is unique okay in powerbi.com when users load the visual they only see some of the customers over there what could be the cause of this issue the options are the visual was built by using a different version of r the data comes from microsoft sql server source the data is deduplicated too many records were sent to the visual version of r is not going to affect over here it does not matter whether data comes from microsoft sql server or oracle database data is deduplicate or duplicate what could be the problem so this is not the option again the answer is quite straightforward because this is as per the standard of our visual in fact i will take you to the uh, official documentation of microsoft power bi and you can see the consideration and limitation for our visual our visual support is limited to the package identifies so these are the limitations over there and one of the limitations over there you can see our visual for plotting is limited to 1 lakh 50 thousand right or say 150 thousand rows over there or say 150k and here you can say there are 500k of customers over there and each id is unique so you have in fact 500k um, records over there so too many records were sent to the visual the answer for this would be d okay let's go to the question number two over there you have a line chart that shows the number of employees in a department over time you need to see the total salary cost of employees when you hover over a data point what are two possible ways to achieve this goal each correct answer present a complete solution so again <laughs> this is one this is a tricky one over here because the answer would not give you the correct picture actually over here so it, they say that add a salary to the tool tips so basically you have a line chart that shows the number of employees. so you have you, you already have a line chart that shows the number of count or number of employees in department over time okay so now we want to add something as total salary cost of the employee when you hover so whenever you say hover it's all about tooltip just like this right you can see i just hover over there so i need to bring that very particular uh, column to the tooltip over there this option right so that if i want to I want to have something else over there like profit up, uh, along with sales so i'm going to bring that profit to my tooltip and ensure that i have profit there as well so that is the requirement actually the only thing is that they have a line chart but the process is same actually the answer should be only the first one that makes sense that makes sense over there add salary to the visual filter you know what it has to do with uh, tool tip nothing but the answer is, is like a b but let me tell you that the answer should be only a and the third one is add salary to the drill through field so drill through field which again you can see over there you know drill through will take you to an another report right so uh, we are not going to an another report we are not trying to drill through via any column to an another report or another page no we are not going doing that it's all about tooltip so i think as per the discussion as well if you see over there all are talking about this thing right uh, option a seems to be very right if and at this exam if you have to choose only one answer and which is actually very clearly is tooltip so that's why this series is so important for you because you know we are going to discuss all the contradictions over there as well now this is the another interesting question again contradictory answer for this as well but we will try to solve it for you you have a report that contains a bar chart and a column chart the bar chart shows customer count by customer segment and the column chart shows sales by month you need to ensure that when a segment is selected in the bar you see which portion remember this which portion of the total sales for the month belongs to the customer segment how should the visual interaction be set on the column chart when the bar chart is selected okay so the question is something like this for example here you say sales for the top 10 orders over there with respect to different region so if i'm clicking on the region say central 
so on the right hand side you will notice that it it has highlighted the central region over there only right so if you see central region central region central region so it's all about highlighting you know the question if you see they are saying that when uh, you need to ensure that when a segment is selected in the bar chart you see which portion of the total sales for the month belongs to the customer segment so whenever you talk about portion means you are seeing a portion of something something is also present over there right so seems like it should be highlight whereas the reveal solution says filter but the most voted one is for highlight because that makes sense over here right so because they say that you will see which portion of the total set so they are talking about the portion of the total sales so you see the portion of the total sales that that means out of the overall total sales you see the portion there as you can see over there out of whole the countries over there you see the portion of the region that you have selected so you see the corresponding countries over there right so i think that should be the answer for me also i would say it should be highlight although it's confusing as well at the same time and if you go to the discussion over there should be b a lot of people are talking about the same stuff that i'm talking to you right now okay so i go with b over here that's it okay let's talk about the next interesting question over there you have a dashboard that contains tiles pinned from a single report as shown in the original dashboard exhibit so this is a dashboard okay uh, in pb in power bi now this is a report that you see over there so once you uh, publish this report so that is a report after publishing from sorry what i mean to say after you have published your report if you are pinning your particular visual uh, that you can see only with power bi service so let me move over to the power bi service as i promised you so, so that's a power bi report and that's the pin option that i'm talking about so you can pin your particular visual to a dashboard okay so that's a dashboard is something like your uh, i can say th these application that you see in front of you right it's like, like a shortcut to the actual application so for your own convenience over here also you are pinning the visualization to a dashboard so that you can directly go to the dashboard and see the uh, visualization visualizations which are of more interest for you okay i hope that helps what is a dashboard now you have a dashboard that contains tile pin from a single report as shown in the original dashboard uh, exhibit okay what should you do edit the details of each tile change the report theme change the dashboard theme create a custom css file so so basically in between they are saying that you need to modify so whatever you have pinned now you need to modify that dashboard so that it can appear like like this so you can see that there is a change in the format over there now the theme is little darker right so look dashboard is like a view again a tricky question because if you reveal the solution it says change the report theme but do you know you have the option to change the dashboard theme as well i can show you that now look i am under my dashboard this is my dashboard okay this is my dashboard and uh, maybe i can so if i go to my workspace over there and within my workspace i can open one of the dashboard like this one i go to edit i say dash dashboard theme and after that you have your dark theme as well right and i say save so yes i can uh, change the theme to dark with uh, the dashboard as well so there is not a problem over there so the likely answer for this should be change the dashboard theme although the change the report theme can also work uh, over here maybe if you have got two options over there then both the options will work so this will also work by the way and this will also work by the way because this dashboard is based on that report so if i go to the report and change the theme over from there as well so that will also work remember that we with pbi pbi desktop you have themes over there as well so i can go over there i can change the theme from there as well so both ways it is possible another interesting one they say that you are you are using existing report right so report is something like uh, i can go to my so these are the reports say this is my report suppose this is my report say visualization over there 
that will be viewed quite frequently in the portrait mode so we want to change that to a mobile mode so you need to build the dashboard by keeping the visuals particular visuals to that dashboard which four actions should you perform in sequence to answer move the okay so we need to know you know so first of all whenever you are creating a dashboard you need to pin your visual right first of all for example this is my visual say for the sake of this test i can say test okay i'm pinning that to test uh, or uh, after that okay i go to the dashboard right so first of all what i did i did pin then after, after that i've gone to the dashboard okay and after that uh, i go to the mobile layout right and after that i'll make the arrangement over there means if i have more tiles over there i'll drag it over there or i'll move it out of the equation so these are the i think this is the correct sequence over there but the answer is not correct over there so i think the correct sequence would be first of all you would pin the items from the from the reports to the dashboard that what i did after that open the dashboard after that change the dashboard to phone view and after rearrange or resize or remove the item if i reveal the solution again it's uh, somewhat messy over there right it says open the dashboard now first you have to pin right then only you can open the dashboard as i just showed you so if i open this discussion over there so here you can see pin items from the dashboard open dashboard change the dashboard phone to view i've just shown you the same right so i hope this session was helpful as well thanks for liking my past sessions as well and i promise to you to have more sessions like this keep on watching my series on pl 300 hope it will be useful for everyone so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with the data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai